All right, so we're going to look at how to input chords and a basic melody into GarageBand on the iPhone. So when you've opened it up, this is one way you can um, play the chords in automatically. Now you can see we're just pressing the C for the moment. And we've got the metronome on there, which is clicking away, keeping us in time. And the lower down you click on, on each key, the lower pitch the chord is. All right, so then if we go into the main window here, we can see that we've only got our project set to eight bars. So we're gonna increase that to 85, just so we've got a little more space. And you can see it's looped. So we don't actually want to loop that. So we're gonna delete that. And we're gonna just try that again so that it's a bit more clear okay so we're going to go back as you can see it goes down a pitch all right try that again back to f back to c back to f all right that's enough of that so if we go back to the project again we're now going to try and edit it and make sure it's complete in time so if you click the levels button next to fx we can click track settings and quantization. This is gonna make sure each of those notes is completely in time. If we go for an eighth, it's probably about appropriate. Okay, so that's sounding in time for, to me. So what we're gonna do now is copy that and make that the basis of our piece. So if you click on what you've recorded and press uh, loop, that's gonna loop all the way to the end of our project there. <coughs> We're now going to add a new track okay so if we go and we open up the alchemy synth we can then click because um, we don't want that sound it sounds like a space piece i'm going to click again on that edit dial bit there and go along and to the other window and click on flute all right okay having a practice now seeing what works generally moving by step repeating ideas repeating small motifs we're going to record this time Okay, that's enough to start with there. So now if we go back into the project, we're gonna quantize this and get it in time again. So by pressing the dial button at the top there, quantization, these are shorter notes. We might go for 16th this time. Um, yeah, let's try that. Play it back, see if it's in time. Okay, so that's okay for the start. So now we're gonna try and add in a new track. So there's lots of different ways we can take this. But if we try with the strings, if you go into smart strings, again, you can do the chords and you can do a bowed arco string or you can do pizzicato. So there you go there. So if you hold it down and slide up, it's bowed arco sound. And if you tap, Pizzicato. Okay, again, we're going to do exactly the same thing we've done to the last two tracks. We're going to quantize it now. So again, click on it, go to track settings, quantization, and we're going to do it to an eighth. I want to bring this in a bit later, so we're going to move it along now. Bring it in later in the piece. And we're going to loop it again so that it keeps playing.
Okay. So now moving on to the next track. What about if we try doing a string sound as a melody alongside that in a more legato, smooth pattern, yeah? So we can play on these strings almost like it's a real instrument. So we can have a bit of a practice to start with before we record. Okay, that gives us an idea, and now we're going to try and record. Okay, so you can see I played the wrong note at the start there. So now we're going to open up the track that we just recorded and we're going to edit it, okay? So if you select the thing you've just rec uh, recorded and press edit, it opens up this piano roll grid here and we can now move these notes around. And you can also say so we need to quantize these as well. They're a bit out of time at the moment. So you can select a note you want you can copy it and then you can paste it over and move them up and down the pitch if you feel them they're in the wrong place so we can have a listen back to what we've got once we've quantized it gonna just delete that first note first so we don't have it clashing Okay, not too bad, but we've got a bit of space at the beginning there we could fill. So if we copy the first note and we bring it up a pitch, I think that will work well in the bar 18. So select it, copy, paste, bring it up a pitch, shorten it a bit. Make sure you click the right part of the note to shorten it. And now we can listen back. Okay, that's fine. All right, so let's make sure that's in the right place. Loop it, and then why don't we bring back our original melody to come back later in the piece so we've got that, that string idea and at the same time as the flute idea. <clears throat> and let's listen back to what we've got so far and see if it works. <laughs> 